Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and in this video, I wanted to show you real quick a new uh, plucker that I picked up. It's a drill attachment plucker. Um, normally, when I pluck birds, I do them by hand because I don't do a whole lot of them. But I saw this plucker was on sale on uh, Amazon, and I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try and uh, see how well it works. The plucker is made by Plucker Ukraine, and I think I spent right around $50 on it. And uh, basically it just attaches uh, to your drill and then you can clamp the drill to a table and uh, pluck your birds that way. Um, to use the plucker, what you need to do, um, just like if you're gonna pluck quail any other way, you know, by hand, uh, is you need to heat up some water to about 160 degrees and you need to uh, submerge the bird in the water for about 30 seconds uh, prior to plucking them. Uh, what that does it just loosens the feathers and makes them come out a little bit easier okay so what i did was dispatched uh, some birds and bled them out and i've got the water heating up i'm going to go ahead and check the temperature of the water real quick uh, it should be getting pretty close yeah it looks like i'm around 158 so we're going to call that close enough uh, what i'm going to do is i'll go ahead and uh, scald the birds for 30 seconds and then we'll bring them over to the plucker and see how well this thing works Um, when you, it works best if you put the plucker in a variable speed drill. Um, that way you can kind of slow it down a little bit if you need to. If you've got it on too high, you're going to have feathers going everywhere. So, Okay, let's see how well this thing works. And when you're scalding them, you want to make sure that they are fully submerged in the, uh, in the water. And then let them run for, like I say, about 30 seconds. Uh, according to the directions that came with the plucker, it said you want your RPMs around 300 RPMs. Um, I have no way of measuring it, so I'm just kind of going by ear on that. Okay, that should be about 30 seconds, I believe. Yeah, it seems like it does a really good job. It's doing it in about half the time that I could pluck them by hand. So if you, if you had a lot of birds that you wanted to process and you want to leave the skin on, um, I think this little thing is well worth the money that I've spent on it. Uh, the wings, like I say, you're gonna have to pluck them by hand. And a lot of people don't even save the wings, but uh, if you're processing them and you want to keep the bird whole, it just kind of looks better if you have the wing on it, I think. So. And this thing's got, I think they said it was a, a 15 finger plucker um, and they're they're short pluckers they're not real big so um, as you can see they're not tearing the skin up at all on the quail so it, it looks like it's doing a really good job okay so once you've got uh, the bird plucked um, all you've got left to do is to remove the entrails and the feet um, to remove the entrails, I'm gonna try something that I saw online uh, that another 
woman did and uh, what she did was she used a spoon and she split the end of the spoon open and basically what you do is you just cut off the uh, cloaca of the bird take the spoon stick it inside rotate it and pull all the entrails out huh that actually seemed to work they got a little fat there Yeah, I guess it works about as well as using your fingers. I mean, I can, I can use my fingers and get it just clean. And then what I do is I'll pull the, the skin back a little bit and just trim that neck back. And uh, got a few more feathers that we need to get off the wings, but we can do that when we go inside to wash them up. Okay, so all I got to do now is get the birds inside, get them cleaned up, and uh, package them and put them in the freezer. Um, I kind of like the idea of plucking birds. Um, it gives a little bit overall better appearance, especially if you're selling to the public. Kind of looks like a small, you know, Cornish hen or something. Um, as far as the plucker is concerned, I'm really happy with it. Um, it seemed to do its job. It didn't cost a whole lot. Like I say, it was around 50 bucks, I think, on Amazon. Uh, if I had any complaints, it would just be that it kind of throws feathers everywhere. But that could have been... Uh, um, my fault I may have had the speed up a little bit too high so next time I'll try it on a really slower speed um, but I can clean the feathers up that's no big deal just grab a garden hose and hose them off the slab and uh, we're good to go so I'll leave a link in the description down below um, where I got that plucker at and if you're interested go ahead and check that out so guys I want to thank you for taking the time uh, to visit us today uh, hope you found this a little bit useful or interesting and uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, it helps me out, and you'll get notifications of any new and upcoming videos. So thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.